Shailene Yap was born in the Philippines on August 20th, 2000 or 2001. Yeah, I still couldn't find out, find much information about her birth year. Growing up as a child, being a middle child of two other siblings, she was influenced by a lot of things in her earlier life that influenced her to draw and later on anime. Those things would be shows like Adventure Time and video games like Legend of Zelda, which is pretty obvious with her current content, and MMORPGs like Dragon's Nest. She's also a big fan of webcomics, such as Homestuck and Ava's Demon, who the author of Ava's Demon Michelle uh, had become a huge influence on Shaw's style. Her earliest present on the internet was on Deviant on February 17th, 2010, with the username being her full name. It would seem like she was very active in Deviant, but sadly, however, most of her artwork has been deleted. Going through her post, it would seem like she's been going back and forth dealing with schoolwork and keeping up with her Deviant art page, and actually gave me a lot of nostalgia reading through these for some reason. I don't know, I guess it's the way she talks back then that makes me feel like I'm actually back in the early 2010s. Yeah, I'm that old. However, two years later on August 29th, 2012, she would create her own YouTube channel. N no, 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 wait, no, not that channel. Yeah, that channel. I was actually not expecting to find this channel, but here we are. She only has one public video on the channel, released on September 20th, 2018, titled Hey Alex, It's My Five Things, referring to the competition that the animation channel Alex Clark started. She would have a small sub count, but she will also have other videos on the channel as well, but I'll explain that later on. Two months after creating the channel on October 27th, 2012, she would create her own Tumblr page, by the alias of Sneaker Doodles or Sneaker Doos. This would be her most active profile before she adapted Sha into her YouTube channel and other social medias. Her first fully complete artwork on the Tumblr page would be two days after she created her Tumblr page. Throughout the lifespan of the Tumblr page, she would post updates, repost on other artists and animators' works, fan arts, rough sketches, and animations. Two years later, she would also answer a lot of fans' questions, which would lead her to making her own FAQ page, which looks a lot like the one on her official website. Even the chicken nugs are still there. I wish I wasn't so vague with the information, but there are 52 pages in the profile, and I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just gonna summarize it. In each year, she would progressively improve her style, but still keep with the wholesome content that she promised herself. However, in 2016, she would begin to post many comics as well, in combination with South Korean being spoken. In fact, she can speak and understand English, Tagalog, Chinese, Chinese and South Korean. On October 6, 2016, she would reach over 1,000 followers. By 2017, her art style will become more familiar when you see her art styles nowadays on her sketches and her animations. On March 17, 2017, she would join the Filipino group Matcha in combination with the word Matcha and Tisa. They are comprised of mostly Filipino artists and programmers and would begin their first project called Golden Hours, which was recently out of beta on February 5th, 2021, and I think they're still continuing updating it. However, around 2018, she would attend college, but not in arts, but in computer science, in order for her to support her family first, then focus on her dreams later, which always shows her kindness and generosity to her family. I honestly considered getting an art course, but I decided to go with a science course for the benefit of my family in the future. We're not exactly the most financially stable family in the world, so I think I'll prioritize them first and then start chasing my dreams after. Then on 2019, she would begin to post her 3D model works as well, and on August 17, she would even show off her game development work. The game would be called Round Boot, simulating an open world Zelda like game, and she would also reveal her OC at the time. Sadly, the last update from this game would be on September 11, 2019. Never since has been radio silence. So this one stop her from creating a bunch of other 3D models. This would also be the year that she would start to post Breath of the Wild fan art, and this would help to establish three types of art styles: a cartoonish anime style art, paint style art, and chibi style art. This would also be the year that she would start to post her animations, which I will get into later. On 26th of December, her last Tumblr post would be on another Breath of the Wild animation, and she would go silent in the account as well. Similarly, moving on to other platforms like ArtStation, which she would abandon as well, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, which we will be going on to now. Now, this is the channel that most people are familiar with. Starting on July 30th, 2020, her first animation will be released on August 15th, titled Koox, a Breath of the Wild fan animation, which it will help to establish her style of animation and its overall very simple yet adorable video. Fun fact about the channel, the profile picture would have a name, Frogger, and she actually created Frogger by stitching it. I think that's what they called, I don't know what the term was. The video will ultimately gain over 2.7 million views as the make of this video. However, the video that would really blow up was the video Texting, a Zelda Link fan animation, which shows a cute interaction between Zelda and Link and would show off her chibi animations as well. And everything about this video is so adorable. Even the stickers they sent to each other are adorable as well, and you can download them, what the hell? Her video will become the, her most popular video in the channel, in which 
YouTube will grow, in which it will grow over 7.5 million views. Throughout her YouTube channel, she would create two types of content: animations of Breath of the Wild, or animations about her, or maybe this. What the hell? Each of her 12 animations will become very successful, however, as it will help to reach her over 23 million views and over 340k subscribers. Currently, she continues to do the same thing as she has done before, making short gifs, fan art, animations, and drawing based on her. She has accomplished so much at a still a young age and still manages to continue to make wholesome content for basically her entire career, and many people, including myself, fell in love with all of them. I wish her the best of luck in the future as she continues with her career. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.